guys, I'm going to show you how to make this super awesome doll. So to quickly get into it, I have some mixed doll already, but I mainly use red spit lentils. Then the other ingredients are chopped tomatoes, you can use them fresh, I just had the can. Some bay leaves, some stock, some chili powder if you like some chili to it, some paprika which is amazing with flavour, and then some turmeric. And then of course um, some garam masala which is like a good flavour and some garlic and ginger which you can use fresh. Then there are a few things I didn't show you, like the onions, which my boyfriend is wonderfully cutting up for me. And while he's doing that, I'm using water instead of oil, because I like to use no oil with my cooking. All you're going to do is pour that in and cook that slightly till it's a little bit softer. So now I'm just going to put in the garlic and ginger paste and because it is a big portion, I'm being generous with it. I used about two spoons and then I add in some mustard seeds and I think the Indian word for it is jiru. I don't know what it is in English unfortunately, so if you know, please comment. Then I just add in one vegetable stock, um, although I think I did add in a second one later because it's a big pot and it just adds good flavour to it, no harm done. Here is when I add in the paprika, so I used a generous like heat table, um, teaspoon of that, sorry, and then about maybe between a quarter to half a spoon of turmeric and about half a spoon as well of the garam masala. And then I just added in the lentils. Here is when I add in the two cups of my red lentils and split lentils total. You can use more if you want to feed more people, obviously. So now for a little hack, adding a little bit of sugar will cancel out the bitterness in the tomatoes and bring out the flavor. So now I added in a leaf and a half of bay leaves and the chopped tomatoes to the mix. This is a full can of 400 grams, which is about a cup, two cups of water. So then on top of that I add Three more cups of water, so you want to get about five cups of liquid in there total. That's how it looks, really red, and you just give it a mix, get it boiling. Once it's boiling, just cover it and leave it. It's that simple. All you need to do is come every 10-15 minutes, check up on it. Total cooking time was probably about 50 minutes I would say, but I mean you just have to look at it a couple of times and then when it sort of looks a lot more softer and liquidy it is done and you get this amazing dish that I mean everyone enjoyed. That's how easy it is guys. Subscribe and comment letting me know what you want to see next. Bye!